guys, it's Miss Lori and welcome back to a Wednesday evening for Family Science. So today I am going to show you how to make an incredible, inedible egg. All right, I've already started one, but I'm going to show you all the things that you need in order to do this science experiment at home. So if you're making an incredible, inedible egg, what's the first thing you think you need? You're right, that would be eggs. All right, but you only need one egg for this experiment. So here's my one egg. Then you are going to need a cup and you need some vinegar, okay? So to start our experiment, all we are going to do is we are going to pour into our cup the vinegar. Hmm. Kind of looks like water, but it's not water smells very funny. It is vinegar. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your egg, you're going to put it inside your vinegar. When you put it inside your vinegar, make sure you go very slowly. You don't want its shell to crack. Okay? So what we're going to do while the egg is inside of the vinegar, is we are going to work on dissolving the shell. Vinegar contains acid, specifically acidic acid. Eggshells are sort of like seashells, and they're made of calcium carbonate. When the two are combined, they react. As the eggshell dissolves, calcium carbonate is produced. Hmm. And it, you can see it because you'll start to see tiny bubbles form on your egg. All right, so we've got some tiny bubbles forming. I can see them kind of rise, rise to the top. Okay, but you're going to leave your egg in the vinegar an entire day. So you want to leave it, if you've put it in now, tonight, you want to leave it until tomorrow in the evening. So just about 24 hours, okay? After 24 hours, your egg is going to look kind of funny. So Miss Lauren's eggs looks kind of funny because I used brown eggs and I kind of have part of the shell sitting on the top. Yucky, right? So the best way to get rid of the shell and to make sure we clean off the egg a little bit before we see if our experiment worked is to dump some of it out. Now Miss Lauren is going to use a bowl, okay, but you can use your kitchen sink. Just make sure that your egg doesn't fall in the kitchen sink. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to dump while I hold my egg. Okay. So now that I have all the vinegar dumped out, can kind of see that my egg looks pretty slimy. So I'm going to use some water. All right, Miss Lauren just has normal water here. But I'm going to put it inside. And as you can see, as I put it inside, more of the shell starts to dissolve off the egg. Okay, so if I was using my kitchen sink, it would be a little bit different because there would be the pressure of the water coming out of the sink. All right, so I'm going to let the egg come into my hand now. Ooh, it's squishy. All right, so what I'm going to do is I am going to just wash away some of the shells so you guys can see how it looks here. Can you see that? All right. Hmm. Does my egg look like it used to look anymore? It seems to be missing its entire shell. Hmm. The egg expands as water seeps through its rubbery inner skin or membrane. More specifically, this is a semi-permeable membrane, which means it lets water pass through, but it holds back other materials. It's kind of like a window screen that lets air in. So this membrane has kept our egg very secure. Let's give it one more rinse off before I show you the true magic. All right, let's move this bowl aside and move my cup aside and put my egg back. All right, so my egg is very squishy now. Now I don't wanna be too rough with it because inside, I can see that I still have the yolk inside. Everything is still inside of my egg. But if you're very careful with it, you can bounce it. <gasps> Did you guys see that? You can bounce an egg? That's just incredible, isn't it? So using just plain vinegar, a cup, and an egg, you can make an egg that's a bouncy ball. 
I'll bounce it one more time for you. So make sure you check in with Miss Lauren next week to see what other fun family activities I have planned for you. If you just do decide to make a bouncing egg, be sure to leave a picture of your egg in the comments and enjoy your incredible, inedible egg. Bye guys, see you next time.